Yo, you football manager fiends. I'll do like saying that every now and again. Welcome back to another episode of Crozy Place and Plymouth Argyle's March 2. What I'm now hoping and what is weirdly enough turned into a title challenge. With six games to go, we are on the brink of, of, of pushing for a title, for a promotion, for something. We're doing okay, so I don't want to go and jinx it. But it's looking kosher. So coming into the Norwich game, we have done quite good in our previous few games. So let's not muck around and take a look how we've got on. So coming into the Norwich game, which we've got at home, Norwich are in 7th. We are in 4th, currently on 75 points. And we are only 5, 7 points behind Sheffield United, who are top of the league. It's, it's close. Only three points behind second place Bournemouth. So a win today is is vital, really. But since you left us, which was the defeat to Sheffield United and the home win to Birmingham, I think. I think we managed to leave it there with a 5-0 win, which was absolutely brilliant result, especially after losing some ground and losing some points. But since then, we've been on an almighty run. We beat QPR 2-0 away, which... Which in itself is a really decent performance. Uh, two youngsters, Freddie Draper and Freddie Isaac, getting the goal. We then went on to beat Huddersfield 4-0 at home. Schmitty banged in two, Callum Wright and Morgan Whitaker with the th with the fourth to to make sure. Then we got a good good draw against a really good West Brom side. One all at home. I, I was relatively happy with that, if I'm honest. And then we went away in the last game and just beat Preston 5-0. Now we did end up with an injury to Callum Wright and a red card to Garrett. But we still ended up 5-0 winners. Goal from Hayden, two from Callum Wright and another brace from Schmitty. So going in, as I said, it's looking really good. We've had our youth intake come through and one player who stands out a bunch is a young guy called Joe Sparaway. Already at League 2 standard, could improve a lot. I've already moved him up to the first team and got him training with the first team squad. I may even stick him on the bench and see if there's a an opportunity to bring him on for the for the for the game against Norwich, although it's a big game and you know, if we could find our way into the Premier League, that would be absolutely marvellous. Yeah, going into the Norwich the next two games, I am gonna be ambitious and look for two wins. Norwich at home. A home game I need to be winning winning making sure we're winning home games. And away at Bristol City, who are twelfth but you know, competitive. This league is super, super competitive all the time. Although saying that, there is now a, a big gap forming. I'm now four points clear. Five points clear of Norwich, which are our opponents today. So let's not look around anymore. I will name our starting 11 and we will be so. right back. Going into the game against Norwich at home, Josh Griffiths and go. Adam Devine at right back. Namdi Collins, Rob Atkinson's. Hayden Roberts, Greg Doherty. Mizoy, Whitaker, Ben Seeger, who returns from injury, has been out for three or four weeks, so it's going to be good to have him back. Callum Wright and Sumiti. We all hope Joe Sparaway has found a little space on the bench due to suspensions and things, so that's super interesting. And we will go and see how we get on against Norwich City. Let's do this. Good luck, boys. What number can he have? We can have 50 for now. It's a process, you know, so we will see how he how he gets on and how he finds his way. I do like if you carry on from the last performance, we'll do well. And I'll offer them a little bit of faith because I've not done it for a while. So I'm hoping it will add a bit of juice to their performance. So let's go. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Let's go. Let me go early for it, Mazoy. Back post Schmitty. Ooh, just couldn't get there. Aiden Roberts, Callum Wright. Nice pick up the loose ball. Divine. Divine. Doherty. Ooh, and Ben Sager. Tinged one off the crossbar. Plymouth are enjoying themselves, but we need to get these... Chances converted into a goal. Hayden Roberts, Smitty, Callum Wright, Mazoy. Callum Wright sneaks into some space, but Norwich defence did well to get back. And ben Sager will take the the corner. I 
Only and it fizzles out a little bit. So we're going to offer a little encouragement bomb with 20 minutes gone. Hope that can add a little bit of juice to their performance. I'm not disappointed. Sega Whitaker. Ben Sega slips it in. Shit, Missy picks up on a back post, does have a strike, but Keeper manages to get his gloves around it and make a good save. So, 30 minutes gone and it's looking quite... Uh, maybe is it ambitious to demand a bit more from them? Let's do it. I feel there's a bit more in the tank, especially when it comes to... Getting a few on target in. Robert's had to submit it, but Sumi just can't hit the target. Come on, boys, encourage. A few minutes to go. As the manager has a little bit of beer on the sideline. A draw's not a terrible result. It doesn't allow Norwich to gain on us. Divine. Oh, Whitaker in some space. Oh, yes, you do. He found a little bit of space on the right-hand side, cut in on his left foot. And smashed it into the back of the net. Collins just knocked it a little bit wider to Devine, who had the better angle on the cross, and Whitaker was gone. His first touch wasn't the best. Allowed the keeper, the defender, to get across, but he smashed it through the defender and through Gunn. And that made it 1 0. That makes it 1 0 to Plymouth Argyle. Come on, lads. Around the ground. That takes me up to third place, man. A point behind Bolton. How many game points on Sheffield United? How the hell are Sheffield United getting on? Oh, they're winning. So it keeps us in the same amount of points. Seven points. But it gains us on Bournemouth. How are Bournemouth getting on? They're nil nil at QPR. So if things stay the way they are, then this looks like a fantastic result, right? Ta no, tactics takes too long. Callum Wright has picked up a really big knock for Freddy Mizoy for Bowden. I don't really, I'll just change them over. I don't really want to. Seeker, Divine, Mizoy, oh, just over the bar it is. Not not miles away at all. Don't really want to break too much in the defence. Galloway for Hayden Roberts. Simity for Draper. And then we'll just keep one more spot. We've had the better of the chances. Oh no. No. This is If this is a goal, it's our first highlight, I'll be fuming. Oh, Bensiger just couldn't steal it off Streetman. Oh, but Whitaker could poke in. Devine on the right-hand side. Crosses it in just inside the box. The Whitaker, Dofferty in space. Oh, and he just knocked it over. I'm going to give him a debut. 
Sparaway. Joe Sparaway might get a debut here. He is going to get a debut. Oh, Whitaker does it like a penalty. It's going to be Jamie Bowden who steps up. Oh, and he does slot it away to make it 2-0 to Plymouth Argyle. Yes. Straight down the middle. Just hammered it. Hammered it down the middle. We'll take that. So Whitaker. Oh, Pookie does well to get what well, Galloway does well to give it back to Griffiths. I thought he was going to turn into that defender then. Freddy Izaka. Nice work. Bowden in the middle. Spreads it lovely to Divine. Dofty gets that cross. Oh, and that could have been Spurways. First goal for Plymouth Argyle. I'm not going to risk giving a praise bomb. I think maybe I'm going to risk a praise bomb just as we come into the... Oh, maybe not. We'll see what happens in this highlight. I was hoping that it was all just going to end nice and nice and slowly and nice and easily, but this highlight might be telling. Oh, nice from Griffiths. Gets across and managed to get a good safe pair of hands to it. Divine's played a fine performance again. And now I'll go for a praise bomb. So we're into injury time, five minutes to go. I'm happy with the way the boys have played. Cannot be too disappointed at that. Yes. Head to the dressing room, happy. Oh, stretch arms. Nice work, everyone. That was good. Really good. I do like a clean sheet. I worry that my team do concede too many, but it looks like coming to the end of the season, this defence is solidifying itself, and that dumps us up into second place, people. That's amazing. Bournemouth lost. Equal points of Bournemouth, equal to Wolves, who are on the march as well, seemingly. But that's a super result so we will be back for the next game which is against bristol city away as this is going to be a little double header so please don't leave your seats and we will be right back see you in a sec so one and all we are back for the bristol city game uh, not a lot that's changed in the week no 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 gossip that i can think to tell you Pereira is back from his injury which is going to be nice. That will obviously bolster our starting eleven because he's fantastic. We have fired and we're in the process of hiring a few better scouts and performance data analysis just to make sure that we improve the squad and make it a little bit better. So, going into this game, Josh Griffiths, Adam Devine, Namdi Collins, Ron Atkinson, Ron Atkinson, Rob Atkinson, Taylor Hayden, Taylor Hayden, Hayden Roberts, Greg Dofferty, Mizoy, Whitaker, Seeger, Perea returns from injury, and Yusuf Shimiti. Pretty strong bench as well. And let's hope we can get a game or we'll get a win in another derby. Yay! Only our third derby of the season. We played Exeter in one of the cups as well, didn't we? This is not a bloody derby, by the way. Let's go, pump your fists. I did do the faith in the last game. It's better if you kind of maybe don't do it for a while. So let's go, lads. Let's give Bristol City a game. Oh, and Seeker. What a challenge that could have been. Or a block gone for a corner so it had to have been an absolutely astonishing block I think it was Carl Naismith according to the commentary managed to get back 
Alright, 30 minutes gone. Everything's a bit quiet. Possession, we're not really holding on. Oh, let's switch them over to balanced. I mean, we'll encourage. Oh, Josh Griffiths does well to come out and gather the loose boy. He did really well. He sends it long. Shimity will knock it back. Seeger does lose it to Williams. It's a good challenge. Collins wins it back. Mazoy. Collins in. Switches out to Whitaker. That was a lovely boy. Cuts inside. Oh, it was unlucky. Right, it's glitching really bad. I'm so sorry about the previous episodes, guys. I have no idea what's going on. Because I'm recording these live from Twitch. It makes it really hard, so... Bear with me. Back in the game, let's give it a whirl, despite the fact there's a roaring motorbike outside. Like, what's the f***ing point? Bell ends. Alright, come on, lads. We've been on a good one lately. And we're looking relatively solid. It's a corner to Bristol. Oh, and it's just cleared off the line. Luck is sitting with us at the moment. Prank. Joe Linson. Oh, and knocks it inside for Griffith as well. Ooh. Let's not be giving it away. Let's be keeping our concentration. Bristol City are getting into this. Jesus. God knows what's going on outside. There's nothing to do with me. Sigur. Switches it to Schmitty. Oh, just clips it wide. Just clipped it, clipped it wide. Deserving, we are deserving our win here. Get the fans through thick and thin. If you have the ability, if you have the ability to make a difference, go out and prove it. Come on, lads. We'll drop another encouragement. Where the has to go, it's unlucky. Roberts to Perea. Mizoy oh, clips over the bar. This. Oh, goodness knows what's going on. I don't know if anybody can. Without being picked up on my microphone, I hope not. But there's, there's some shouting and screaming going on outside. I guess it's kids just on their way home. That's what it sounds like to me. Roberts on the left, though. Nonetheless, we've got more important stuff going on. Atkinson. Plays it all the way back to Griffiths. He knocks it inside to Doffer. He divine on the right-hand side now. It's been a far I've done well to switch the play. Oh, yes. And divine knocks it into the back post. And Yusuf Shimiti leaps like a salmon. And manages to doink his head on it. Divine does fantastically well. So he whips it in. Boink, and in it goes. Makes it 1 0 to Plymouth Argyle. Let's go. That's what we need. A substitute who's going to have to be made. Divine is struggling. Bring him in for Bolton. Atkinson's just playing not very good. But he's solid. Whitaker is struggling. Perea definitely is. Callum Wright. Schmitty for Draper. Doherty for Garrett. Let's go and make our changes. Hopefully make us a bit more solid. Well, not a bit more solid, but add a bit more energy now. 
so Gear can finish the game off. Namdi Collins is playing great. Namdi Collins is playing really good, which is exciting. Because the defence being solid going into the end of the season is the most important important thing we can hope for, really. Come on, lads. The last five or ten minutes, well, five minutes plus stoppage time. Let's go. Here we go. Three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Hold up. Oh, here we go. What is this? Sagir with the heart with the corner. Atkinson. Garrett. Mazoy. Oh, and he just couldn't angle it in. On another highlight. As Bristol City pick it up. Garrett missed the challenge. Naismith. James always oh, a bit of space, but Atkinson does well. Appears from nowhere to get there. Garrett commits the foul, which gives a free kick in a dodgy position. Almost gets his head on it, Griffiths. <sighs> Last opportunity of the game there for Bristol City, but we managed to come out 1-0 winners. Not the best win, but nice work, everyone. That was good. We'll take it. We'll take a 1-0 win because it keeps us rolling. It keeps us competing. Where does that pop us? Four points now. Oh, we've gained. We've gained Sheffield United. Lost to Coventry. Oh. Bournemouth stay with us. I could have swore we were ahead of Bournemouth on points, but maybe no, we weren't. It was goal difference, but... We're ahead of everybody on goal difference. Got the best goals in the league. Looking how this is going. As I said last time. The schedule as it is. We will come back for the last two games of the season. I'll do the Reading and Ipswich game. Oh, actually, maybe I'll do a triple header. I think we'll do a triple header. I'll do them all. Ipswich is kind of like, it's been part of the, part of like, they've they've come with us, haven't they? If it switch could spoil our title run, that would be very fitting. So I'll do the Reading game, and then I'll come back for the Ipswich, Millwall, and Coventry, and find out how we get on in the run into the end of the season. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for for anything that you've done on this series, for coming on Twitch, for watching on YouTube, for comments, likes, subscribe, anything that you've done. Please continue to do it. I'm having so much fun making it. And I'm excited to see where this season is going to go now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all of your interaction, all of your love. And um, please continue. That would be fabulous. And uh, it's much love from me. Peace.